Right, first thing I'm going to do for a cut is to set the height of the cutting cylinder. For those that know how to do this, you can skip this section. I'm not about to teach anybody to suck eggs. But this is where it could be useful for uh, beginners. Here's the first tool. So we get that to focus. Setting bar. Just screw there the wing nut and that is the height that we want to set. Now it's currently set at um, 18 millimeters and this is what I set it with. So I'll pull that there. Now the first thing I'm going to do is set the uh, height that I want to cut at today. Now I'm bringing it down a bit because we're starting to prepare a pitch. I'm at 18. I'm going to bring that down to 14. You should never take more than a third of the length off in any one cut. But uh, it's 14 millimetres, so I've got it lined up there. I tighten that down. So I said that's going to be the height. So I don't know if you can see it. And you can see that the screw head. Are we on? Yep, we are. Needs to come down a little bit. So, loosen that off. Screw it down. A little bit more. Alright, just, just fits under there nicely. So, I'm happy that that is 14 millimetres. So make sure that keeps focusing. And lock it off with the uh, wing nut. Make sure it doesn't move or tighten it up. Right, and the next job is then to uh, actually alter the cutter height on the mower. So let's bring the mower in. Right, welcome to the floor. And uh, what we do, oh, wrong way around. One end of the bar with the bike roller, another one on the front, and then I hope you can see that. But we're trying to just get the hood of the screw, the proper name for it is, to hook on the bottom blade. Now this won't, and the reason it won't is I know that that is set at 18 millimetres. So we want to come down to 14. Now I know that on this mower, which is a Dennis FT, um, that each click of the adjuster is 0.25 of a mil. So it's going to be, I'm going to guess, off top of head, <laughs> quick math, eight clicks. So let me just do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My mass is wrong, isn't it? Stop laughing at the back. <laughs> yeah, feel on that. How did that eight? Two, three. Four. Yeah, that's not, nearly getting there. Nearly. We will do the other side. Just bear with me a second. Because it can get a bit awkward. That's awkward for anybody that doesn't speak Yorkshire. So, one, two, three, four. That's one millimetre. One, two, three, four. goes on properly and there's no well, very little play there 
don't want to tighten it too much, you will bend it, which makes it pointless, but we've got good fit there, so I'm happy that that's at 14. We can check that in the middle. Yep, that's good. And we check it again. I'll just move that if I can. And we've got a good fit there. I'm happy that's uh, 14 millimeters all the way across. Right. Oh, sorry about that. Let's get out to the square. Right. So as you can see, I've got a uh, string line down the uh, side of the chosen strip. Uh, only one because uh, I'm a Yorkshireman and I can just move it rather than buy another bit of string. Um, important, especially when you're starting the strip for me, uh, get that string line down uh, because if it's not straight it will look rubbish and if you're not bothered about presentation, again only my opinion, what are you doing this for? Presentation is important. I know it doesn't affect how it plays but it certainly affects how it's perceived and I think if you take, it looks like you're taking care of the presentation the chances are you've also taken care of how it's going to play. Just my opinion, like it, don't like it, it's the way I work, it doesn't have to be everybody's way. Right, let's get the uh, first hopefully straight line cut. And I won't tell you the name of the plonker that forgot to check the fuel levels and got to the square and then had to go back for some more fuel. But I bet you can guess who did it. Right, let's get started. It. Um, you see I've engaged the, uh, the clutch so now that the cutting blades will spin but before I've actually wound it up and got some speed into it I've just turned it by hand just to make sure I've got nothing jammed uh, around the cylinder um, you know it costs money to keep them sharp uh, just seems sensible to do that The, uh, the two edges done. This the sun's uh, just this bit there, a little out, so I might not want to see too clearly. We'll see what it comes out like that. Uh, right, up and down now. Always finish in the same direction. Don't leave stripes on uh, the strip. Uh, again, most of you will already know that. Uh, so please, this, this is not directed to you. Uh, this is for some, maybe some that's never done it before. Uh, just a, a very basic guide. Uh, so let's get that done.
stripes. Uh, you might still be able to see little stripes. That's actually overlap, as you can see. I've made sure I've gone up and down the same one. So, uh, I'll put the mower away. Um, normally, I'd be looking at watering. Um, give it a good soak and then uh, roll. But we are still in the middle of pre season rolling. Um, the surface, uh, the underlying conditions are still damp uh, enough to roll. You've got that lovely sort of plasticine feeling when you stick your thumb in the ground. So I don't need to water this. Um, so the uh, next step is going to be just a light roll uh, and then over the, the next few days it will be uh, a program of uh, brushing to make the grass stand up. Uh, use the vertical a few times, get the uh, horizontal grasses out get to, and thin it out a little bit and obviously cut and roll and uh, repeat as necessary. Um, so I'm going to put the uh, Dennis back in the shed and I'll be back in a bit with uh, the uh, Norman B. Flyer in a bit. Second day at uh, trying to get this new strip sorted, and uh, we've got an instrument of torture. Let me show you. Uh, this is the medieval instrument of torture, it's an absolute backbreaker. It's also one of the best bits of kit you can beg, borrow, or steal. Don't steal, please. We, we have enough of that. Um, yeah. This one's always good for warming you up on a cold morning. Let's get going. show you the difference that that's made. I haven't done that bit. That's behind the, the stump line. You really can see the difference. I've really raised it up. Right, let's give it a call.
Right, uh, Verticut. We're going to be using the uh, Verticut cassette in the Dennis uh, to start lifting the grass out, thinning it out uh, on this first strip. Uh, brilliant piece of kit, far easier to use than uh, that medieval bike breaker you saw the other day. And uh, essential for me, absolutely essential in uh, preparing strips. So let's get to it. saw me pulling the launch early part of this video. Um, I used the uh, Sizes Lawnman or the medieval bike breaker um, and it sort of lifted quite a lot up. And you've just seen me do that and I've got a three quarters full bucket. Um, so shows you how much it thins out. When you set it up, again, I'll, I'll repeat, I know I'm going to repeat myself here, uh, if you know how to do this, please, I'm not trying to teach you. Uh, this is for people that have not done this before or, or are learning. Um, it's important not to set the vertical blades too low. You do not want them disturbing the soil and leaving grooves in it. Um, moment that's set at four millimeters above the cutting height and the cutting height was uh, 14 millimeters so it could be set at 18. My mask can do that unlike the bit I did earlier. Um, so uh, now I get the, the uh, cutting head. Uh, I might take another millimeter off it, drop it down to 13. Uh, and then uh, probably give it a roll. 